Hey guys, welcome back. This SQL tutorial is completely based on my learning. How I learned SQL? As I've already told you, I'm Oracle SQL Fundamental Certified with 94%. So in this tutorial, we will learn at very high level. So let's get started. <laughs> My focus point are diagram or mapping, table mapping. So basically, what happens whenever you are attending any online interview, online test, online exam for you know companies drive, or whether you are working in an organization, what happens? Whenever some requirement comes, you have a table mapping. You have a class, you know, you have the architecture of the tables, how the tables are interconnected with each with each other. So basically, the first focus should be on the table, table mapping or the diagram which is provided to the you know student for an interview or for the online test. So first focus point, diagram or table mapping, which I'll cover just after a few minutes. Now the second point is problem statement. Now what your problem statement is saying? Understand the problem statement properly. Is it asking for some you know group of student or group of employees who who's who is uh, you know living in the city bangalore or what is the problem statement is saying now the third point you should focus in which table i can find these rows in which table i can find these rows so th the third third point should be try to find out the table from where you can get your rows now the fourth point should be your business logic now basically you have got the idea from where I am going to fetch what would be the my approach to go to that table if the table is you know I'm, I need to fetch data from two to three table then you will find the path the way to reach those table and to connect those table then you will um, implement the business logic this is how I learned SQL I followed these four steps now basically how SQL statements work so if you are a backend developer if if you have seen my tutorial, if you have seen my video on full stack development, in full stack development, I have covered one point where I have explained the flow diagram, the flow of project. Now, first understand the flow because I told you there is a front end, there is a back end, there is a database. But if you will, if you will not understand the flow of front end, back end, dev and database, how will you start to work on? To be a full stack developer so basically what happened the front end is nothing but what a user or a client can see on the screen on a browser so if you type anything like www.somewebsite.com like facebook.com so you first land up in some login page right so basically what is happening as a user i'm able to see some blue color font, blue uh, and white. There is a color combination of Facebook. That's as a user or a client, I can see. So as soon as I write my user ID and password, then what will happen? There will be a request. It is going to the server. And at the back end server, what is it is taking that request and manipulating it. So back end is nothing but you have some programming language on you know and you are working on that on the basis of that you will develop some query for database query and you will fetch those results from the database and put that back on the server put that back on the server and from the server you will send it to the front end or to the client in the form of response or in the form of H, you know index.html so basically this is the flow diagram of a, any project means it's a, a you know if i talk about the flow diagram it's very huge i have just demonstrated it in a very layman term so you know if if i if, if i start talking about you know the flow of you know how actually the http request work and response work it's a huge concept in itself so just to make you understand how a front where is the front end where is the back end where is the database how these are communicating to each other so this just to demonstrate you the basic understanding the flow of through the diagram before starting or before you are you know going to create a project you should understand the flow so this is the basic diagram hope you understand it how a project flows 
so basically if you are a back end developer then you should have at least a good knowledge on database sql query as well because the sql query what we are writing we are using is it basically in our business logic right this is nothing but a business logic what a business want what are the data it want us to fetch from the database so that's a business logic right so whenever we are triggering any sql statement it is hitting our rdbms okay so here we have a rdbms what is rdbms what is rdbms server so if you haven't attend uh, you, if you haven't watched my dbms tutorial series that is also for interview point of view and i have covered only important topic which is required for you then please go ahead and watch that you will get to know what is rdbms now the sql statement hits the rdbms and from the rdbms we get the result so presently what it is asking select reason name from reason so basically reason is some table and it want us to give only the reason name so here we have the table in the table we have europe we have america asia this is the reason name that's what we get from the database now basically how we write any query we have some select statement we have some this star is nothing but just as of now you can consider this as a, some rows okay star means all the rows all the rows but here let's take an example like whatever rows we want to fetch i have marked it as a green from table now the table we have to think about from which table we have to fetch now at the end we need to think about the business logic now first focus should be first we will before writing any query we'll see how many rows we want to fetch so presently we want to fetch only reason name so after select statement we'll write the number of rows we want to fetch then the second will be the table containing that column so how many column you want to select you want to select only one column that is the reason name then which table is containing that column that table name you have to write maybe there are multiple table maybe you you want to fetch multiple columns maybe you that columns that multiple com, column is coming from multiple table so you will be fetching multiple rows multiple columns from multiple table so basically that from table here we will be writing the logic of some joins some inner join outer join left join what join we have to use to make it work to fetch the data that we will cover it very soon now the third part comes the operations the business logic okay are you want uh, do you want this directly you want to fetch some data or you want to manipulate it like the salary should be greater than 50k fetch the result of the employee whose salary is greater than 50k or fetch the result of employee who are staying in bangalore so staying in bangalore is the logic select employee's name employee's name is a column and from which table employee table who are staying in where bangalore bangalore what is this this is a business logic so this is the way we should write any sql query 